grounds as Kampala Queens face to face go with against uh, Lady Doves Football Club. And of course, the game is underway in uh, these soggy grounds as uh, the game is kicked off. But we continue to see Restia Nanziri trying to wiggle away. And of course, uh, Nagadia pounded to the ground, and the referee not impressed uh, with that infringement. The referee points to the side of uh, Kampala Queens, but uh, free kick taken. And of course, uh, Lady Doves managed to get one up. And the ball took a bit of a deflection into the back of the net. And that is goal one by Lady Doves against Kampala Queens. And of course, Gloria Namakula couldn't get attached to that ball and sends the Lady Doves outfit into celebrations. And just like they need the three points today, they really need the goals. And that is one of the insurance policies that they've managed to rack up uh, just 33 minutes into this game. And that goal coming in in handy. Asya Nachibuka trying to make things work. Margaret Kunihira on the far side trying to send in something. At, uh, quite a heavy touch there by Restin Anziri. And the ball is taken away. And here she comes again. Uh, Joelia Nagadia trying to hustle for the ball with uh, Lukia Namovilu, but uh, not being able to make a proper contact to it. And the goalkeeper just goes for that one. Rose. Now, Achigozi hounding Restek of Sovozi to the ground. And the referee is not impressed by that infringement. And of course, Patricia Akirol trying to fight for the 50-50 ball, but uh, again, hound Restek of Sovozi to the ground. Ball coming in. Kampala Queens having a chance to make it to level terms, but... Uh, the ball just whistles across the face of goal. And again, Joelia Nagadia caught into the process. Asifa Nasuna trying to work out some shooting space. But uh, uh, Shamira Naluja cannot get that ball past Rose. Uh, Zaina Nableme into Asifa Nasuna. Uh, looking at how Shamira Naluja is set up to get that one in. But uh, again, it just goes into the hands of the goalkeeper. And of course, uh, Lady Dove still in the driving seat of this one. Nachigozi Elizabeth sending in one and Restian Anziri just uh, heading that one over the bar. Still a 50 50 challenge. Kovosovozi this time round, the culprit of that infringement. Asia Nachibuka sending in a ball but uh, goes into the hands of the goalkeeper as Kampala Queens continue to search for that all important goal that will bring them to level terms. And here they have a chance. Restian Anziri just dropping that ball away. And of course, Patricia Akirol gifting possession away, gifting the ball to Lady Doves, who cannot make it work through Nora Alupo. And of course, uh, Grace Saluka, the new entrant, sending in one, but it just whistles across the face of goal. And Hasifa Nasuna can't make proper contact. Here she comes, Aluka, sending in the ball in, but uh, Restin Anziri and of course, uh, Nachi Inji Sophia, not ready enough to make it work. A reverse ball coming in, and Restin Anziri stretched and stretched. Uh, but couldn't get a proper touch. Grace Aluka still fighting fit. And that was surely a goal for Kampala Queens. But uh, it was still a bit of a hustle as uh, Grace Aluka is running him herself rugged. Sends the ball to Restian Anziri, who puts the ball past Lady Doves. And that was a quick thought of interest in Anziri. And she just buries the ball away. Just look at how she thought about that, Grace Aluka. And when she sent the ball in, it was right foot into the back of the net. Well, celebrations now continue as Kampala Queens, champions elect, surely now have something to celebrate for today as they manage to bring this game to level terms. And that is how it is at the moment as Kampala Queens are won and Lady Doves are won here at the IUIU ground. Celebrations surely must continue and you can see that on their faces. And of course uh, that lady Restin Anziri just to make sure that uh, that ball goes past uh, the goalkeeper Rose who's been very outstanding all throughout the game to ensure that uh, they go into celebrations for the championship with something in the bag and of course here they come all done in white as they've managed to do the job here but of course having done the job all throughout the season
But just getting some of the confirmation there as Daisy Naka Zero will be walking away with uh, the goalkeeper's accolade. It's exactly what they've done. And of course, you could see as a Lady Dove's captain being called upon uh, to receive the Fair Play Award. And she will come on. Uh, to ensure that uh, she just uh, does get that as they've managed to do the job all throughout the season themselves. Margaret Namande uh, getting the fair player of the award, fair player award for Lady Doves. But of course, the goalkeeper award will be given to Daisy Naka Zero. And of course, uh, the FUPA uh, Deputy Vice President uh, waiting in anxiety to give uh, the lady her trophy as Daisy Naka Zero will hoist uh, the golden glove that she has been given. Uh, of course, throughout this game, she's been having an outstanding season and what a season she has had, having done the job quite well. But of course, more accolades to be given. Shakira Nyinagahira will walk away with the golden boot of this season, having scored 12 goals already. And that's what true champions do. But of course, uh, Kawempe Muslim themselves uh, coming in second on the log, having done the job throughout the season. But she will be represented since she's all away trying to play her game against uh, she corporates at the Valley Grounds. But nonetheless, she will be also be awarded with the best goal scorer of the year in the FUFA Women's Super League 2022-2023. And again, Shakira Nyinagahira will also be awarded the best player of the FUFA Women's Super League, the MVP of the FUFA Women's Super League 2022-2023. What an outstanding player. And of course, the accolades do tell the whole story as she walks away with two of those, never mind the fact that she hasn't lifted the big prize of the championship, but she will walk away with something to celebrate as the technical team of Hamza Lutalo also comes on to receive their silverware, having managed to ensure that they inspire the girls of the Kampala Queens to silverware today as they have been a crowned champions to dent that run. But of course, nonetheless, they will walk away with the biggest prize and that is all that matters. And that's why you can see the ladies coming on to receive the silverware. Lidian Mutuzo got injured in the process, but uh, here she comes on her clutches and she will be also celebrating alongside her friends. And of course, Zaina Nandede, some of those players who have managed to really ensure that uh, they managed to inspire these Kampala Queens to silverware. You can see the likes of uh, Shamira Naluja scored some of those important goals to ensure that uh, she firepowers uh, these Kampala Queens into uh, the moment in which they find themselves in. And of course, not forgetting the likes of Jamila Navalime, who came in late but managed to catch up with the team and catch up with the speed and managed to get something for herself. But of course, Asiya Nachibuka, a uh, good right back there, also managing to get something. Uh, the likes of Margaret Kunihira, and of course, uh, not forgetting the likes of uh, Daisy Nakazero there in your picture. One of those players who's been very outstanding, walking away with her golden glove. And of course, she will be all smiles until this day is over. They will have to celebrate where the party will be. I cannot... No, but one thing I do know is that Kampala Queens are walking away with the championship today, having done the job already with four games to spare. The likes of uh, Sumaya Komuntare, some of the players who have been very outstanding. Asifa Nasuna having a light moment with the Honorable Nachiwala Chiyinji, uh, FUFA Vice President, uh, uh, there to celebrate her accolade. And of course, photo moments, photo ops will continue as uh, you can see the podium already decorated and Kampala Queens are the ones who are walking away smiling. They say that he who has the last laugh laughs the best or laughs finest. And that is why you can see Daisy Naka Zero together with the Honorable Nachiwala Chiyinji making sure that uh, they uh, get into that picture moment where they have to celebrate every stride of every win they've managed to rack up. But, of course, uh, not forgetting the captain fantastic, Zaina Namuleme will be lifting silverware. She has as many medals. I think some of those are to give to her other friends who haven't made it here. But nonetheless, that is the biggest prize and that is the most important prize of the day. The FUFA Women's Super League trophy being handed to the captain of Kampala Queens, Zaina Namuleme. And that's why you can see the hand claps and the celebrations as Kampala Queens are now the champions 2022-2023 of the FUFA Women Super League. 
And of course, uh, bad news for she corporates because they are the defending champions who might be sinking into relegation. But it will be a change of guard now as uh, Kampala Queens will go away celebrating today. And as, of course, they continue to vie for continental accolades or continental positions, their next target is CAF uh, Women's Champions League. And can the CAF Women's Champions League, can they manage to get that one? Uh, but, of course, they will not mind about that so much as they have celebrations to go by, especially now at their home ground, the IUIU grounds. You can see the celebrations both on the technical team and the players. There you go, champions, Kampala Queens. FUFA Women's Super League 2022-2023. There is nothing that can take away that joy. They've really worked hard for it. 15 wins, only two draws, and one loss coming against a big side there, Kawempe Muslim Ladies Football Club, uh, with their technical team.